Right, we've set the uh, Roller 200 kit up on a RV4 uh, 30 second tent. Now we've used an Aussie Traveller anti-flat kit bar. Now the, the beauty about that is that will clamp to the uh, the awning strip that's on the tent and it'll allow us to feed the, the rope strip through the rail um, and attach the the kit um, to roll it out over the top of the tent. Now these are four 50 watt laminates um, that we use for our kits and they're zipped together making the 200 watt kit. Now the wiring for these, I'll just take you around the other side. What we do with these panels is uh, there's 12.5 volts coming out of each uh, laminate um, and uh, we connect two of these panels in series and then uh, and then the two pairs in parallel. That gives us about 24, 25 volts at the regulator. Now that regulator is a NPPT charge controller so that converts those extra volts um, into amps. Now we've got part sun and part clouds at the moment but um, we'll now go to the regulator. Now with the kit comes an extension which is five meters long and then another lead also which is five meters long so you've got ten meters of cable run to the regulator. Now our caravan here has a has a, um, a um, Anderson plug on the front that we charge as we're traveling. Now we're connected into that to the regulator and up to the regulator here you see the three connections the yellow one being the solar the grey one connecting to the caravan for providing the battery with charge and the blue one is connected to a a 40 amp uh, uh, sorry a 40 litre fridge I'll just show you that fridge so this is just a 40 uh, litre angle now by having that connected to the load side of the regulator we're able to we're able to see what what uh, power usage is being drawn from the fridge so we've got at the moment 138 140 watts depending on the sun starting to come out on us now um, the battery's pretty full at 13.4 the, uh, the draw from the fridge is about 30 watts. Now still left over, so 30 watts of that power being generated from the solar panels, which obviously comes from the sun, is powering our fridge. We still have about four amps going into the battery charging. Now with that fridge off and no load on the system, we can now look and the, obviously the sun's gone down a bit on us as well so as the sun goes away we're now at 80 watts battery voltage still 13.2 and we're putting in 5 amps of charge It'd be nice if the sun had maintained um, and kept out, uh, out of the clouds and we would have had a bit of consistency there to, um, to see the difference between the two but so that fridge will cycle at about a 50% cycle so while the fridge is cycled off you'll get forward say at this stage now you get 6.2 amps into the caravan and uh, when the fridge comes on um, we lose around about probably half that in amps powering the fridge 